want to survive, bro. Oh, I, I always prefer to call myself patient because I'm still on undergoing treatment six years later. So I, I know I felt firsthand the scourge of cancer, and I can say that cancer is very toxic, financially toxic, relationship toxic, time toxic. Cancer keeps taking and taking everything from you, and that is why. You know, we encourage patients to be at the forefront of this advocacy because we know where it pinches. And, we, you know, after a lot of advocacy to the government, we were able to get the government to earmark some money. Um, it used to be called Catastrophic Health Fund, but now it's Cancer Health Fund. And um, from that fund, indigent cancer patients are able to access up to 1 million naira to start their treatment. Those who are who don't even have the money to start, or people who are exhausted already, you know, haven't, haven't spent so much. And we know this is a drop in the ocean, because we have people that need um, 5 to 10 million for treatment, 20 million, and also one that has spent over 15 million in three years, and she's not out of the woods yet. So, um, cancer needs a lot of money, so um, the government is trying, we appreciate them for the one they've done, we are so grateful for the Cancer Health Fund, and right now, um, so at last, the Cancer Health Fund was for just the three major cancers, prostate, breast, and cervical cancer in Nigeria. But they're, they're you know, opening it up right now to go you know, to extend to other cancers and opening it up beyond the six uh, pilot hospitals to many other teaching, teaching hospitals. So we're thanking the government, but um, as a patient and as someone that works the cancer NGO, where we have a lot of patients coming, we know that that is really, really small. And I know there are talks to um, add it, add cancer to the NHIA. I hope um, that works so that uh, you know people can get subsidized treatment. But uh, as it is now, most patients treat themselves out of pocket, or you go to your community, to your village, to your family, to your friends to start doing crowdfunding. And I can tell you, it's not easy. It's a journey I've been on for six years. It's not easy at all. So. I also like to use this million to tell people to stop stigmatizing people that live with cancer. If they come to you for help, some people feel like cancer is a death sentence, so why should I give you my, my two million to go and waste and die tomorrow? You know, that is the mindset that some people have, and that means they will not support patients, you know. So um, people should learn to give all the support they can, and even if the person eventually dies from cancer, let the person live a few more years to put his affairs in order, you know. But that does not mean that every cancer patient will die. I know people that have lived beyond 20 years and they're still doing well. So every person's story is different. So um, we need as much help as we can get.